Hey guys, it's Langy here. Welcome back to another video. As you guys know, I have been at the skate park a bit more on the scooter. Um, feel, I've been feeling great after having a break for six years and being back on it. It's just so much fun. I've also gotten a bit back into the BMX. I really want to get back into the skateboarding as well. I just want to be all around all the skate park activities and yeah. Got some new stuff to show you. As you guys probably know, I've been riding a Root Industry scooter, but it's time for a new one, I think. Try something new. So I've got an Ethic Pandora here to unbox from the Scooter Village. Yeah, we're gonna unbox it. I've never ridden an Ethic and I've never ridden a scooter with T-bars. So this is very different for me, but I thought, why not give it a change? You know, it's always good to try new things. So I thought I'd give T-bars a go. Oh, I forgot. I went with the red and black colorway. This is gonna look sick. Oh. Here are the bars. So I'm pretty sure I went for the medium sized scooter rather than the large because I'm quite a small girl. Oh, these are light as. Oh my God. Look at that. I didn't even know it came with a red clamp. I'm stoked with that. It's going to be so weird riding with T-bars, but these are like actually like a good height for me, I reckon. So I'm pretty small. I was scared it was going to be like too straight and be too tall for me, but this looks mad. Also, I don't know if you guys are aware, but Ethic are really good at making light scooter parts that are actually strong too. Oh, I'm excited for this part. Ooh. Oh, look at that. We even got an Ethic little bracelet. That's sick. I'm so happy. I went with a red and black colorway. Oh my God, that is mad. Look how thick those wheels are. Those wheels are so thick. I've also never ridden with a um a boxed deck either. So, oh my God. Like for how long it is and how boxed it is, it's actually pretty light. It seriously looks unreal. This is gonna look so good when it's put together. I'm so excited for this. They even sent some Allen keys and some little stickers and stuff. Makes my life a whole lot easier. There's no better feeling than getting a new scooter. I've got some other new stuff to show you. So as you guys know, I've been riding with a really crappy green helmet that my sister had when she was six years old. If I fell over, I would it would not have saved my head. So I've got an S1 supplied by Al Skate Co. About time I got a good helmet that's actually gonna protect my head. So yeah. I also went to the Benalla Comp for the Northeast um, Skate Park Series the other day. Got first in BMX. First in scooter as well, and I want some cool little things, I'll show you. I've got some new grips for my BMX, because I've currently got scooter grips on there because my other one's melted. Got these cool looking socks. Um, you put them under your pants, obviously, in like winter, and they have shin guards, so, and like little ankle guards. So that's sick, definitely something to try there. We also got some L Skate Co. and Northeast Skate Comp Series um, stickers. I gave a couple to my niece because she's awesome. A monster sticker, you bet that is going on the helmet. We got some BMX stickers too. So, I'll show you guys later when the scooter's all put together because it looks absolutely insane. Well guys, this is the scooter fully set up. Honestly, this is like a bit of a mix of a street and a park scooter. I'm about 158 centimeters tall and this is a medium size, just if that helps anyone. It's got a wide enough deck and it's long enough so you can do your manuals and stuff and you know your grinds but it's also really light like so you can do your bra flips and all that jazz. Seems like a really good scooter at the moment. I'm excited to test it out. I'm a bit crook today so I don't know if I'll make it to the skate park but I might be able to do some flat tricks for you guys. While I'm a bit sick too, um, I found some old clips from when I was riding like six years ago so I'll put them in here. Also been on the grind lately, get some stuff done, relearn some oppo buys, so I'll put some new clips in here.
60. When you get a new scooter, you get so scared to do anything on it. Like, you don't want it to become undialed or anything. All right, let's do just a bar spin. Ooh! Put those two together and do a 360 bar spin. Ooh! That was like a 270 bar. We'll count it. All right, let's just do a tail whip. And we'll also do a heel whip while we're at it. Ooh! Oh, God. This is really hard when you haven't got any energy. You know what I love these things, ready? While I'm feeling alright, I want to get better at skateboarding. I want to see if I can do a pop shove it. It's probably a bad idea, but... Alright, I am by no means a skater, so this is going to be hard. Oh! I was close. I can get that. Guys, give me tips. That's not happening, I feel too sick. If you haven't already, I have two Instagrams. My main one is SineadLang12. Um, I'll put it in the description. That's where you see my everyday life, whatever. Um, and then I have a like, kind of action sports account where I post my scooter stuff. It's Langy underscore 99. I'll also put that in the description as well. Say hello. Here's Sassy. But yeah, skaters, feel free to give me tips on that pop shovel because I have no idea what I'm doing. And I'm thinking of filming more skate park content for my channel because that's what I really enjoy doing. I've got some exciting things coming up. So if you want to see more skate park videos, let me know. I'm thinking of doing like a scooter rider tries riding skateboard for a day or scooter rider tries rollerblades for a day. I just kind of want to try everything out. And guys, I'm saying it on here so I don't back out. I'm going to learn a backflip on a scooter within the next six months. I'm saying it. I'm saying that now so I do it because I have flip awareness. Like I could probably flip in this room right now if I really wanted to. Should I? I have really good flip awareness so there's no reason why I shouldn't be able to do it on a scooter. This is a tiny room by the way. If I fail, I'm going through the wall. Oh, do I want to do it? I'll do it in a bigger room. Oh, I can get that cleaner. Flips inside the house. No, Louis, you can't be here. I'm trying to do a flip. Everyone, Louis, do a backflip. Backflip. Yeah, Louis. Yeah. Two. Yeah. Woo. Look at you go. Yeah. Happy as Larry. He learned a backflip. Smooch if you love it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you stay up there because I don't want to squash you, all right? Ooh. Sit. Shake. Good boy. Go. Ooh. I'm at the skate park with Savvy. Just testing out the new scooter. Just doing chill stuff because uh, I feel a bit crap. Oh, oh. Helmet's too big. Alright, Sav's gonna hit one of the bigger ramps. She loves this ramp. Yeah, Savvy! Woohoo! Oh! You okay? Did you fall? <laughs> Alright, Sav and I are being rained out, so we can't really ride anymore, can we? Mm -hmm. Nothing. We got some chill clips in, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, Ab. <laughs> 